best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Michael Conlon is a man divided. The Irish boxing star is just 28 years old, but has lived many lives already, some simultaneously. The two-time Olympian grew up in Belfast, Northern Ireland's capital city, where for three decades, Protestants and Catholics waged war on each other. He was born in 1991, seven years before the peace accords were signed and to a certain extent, executed there is still a war brewing inside Conlon. Even when he was taking up boxing, which was huge locally, he was binging on substances while training. En route to a 248 and 14 self-reported amateur record, he was living a double life and hiding it from his family. Conlon racked up the accolades, gold medals at the World Championship, European Championships, and Commonwealth Games. He also took home a bronze medal in the 2012 Olympics. But none of that is where he found fame. Conlon's notoriety was really pushed forward when he flipped the 2016 Olympic judges the middle finger after a controversial decision loss to Vladimir Nikitin cost him the podium. Disenchanted with the amateur game and wanting to follow in his brother Jamie's professional footsteps, he then signed with top rank and was put on the fast track to superstardom. Riding the Irish wave in New York, Conlon debuted at Madison Square Garden on St. Patrick's Day 2017 and has been phenomenal ever since. He is a tidy 13-0 with seven knockouts and has all the tools to be a cash cow for Bob Arum. While everything in the ring is going great so far, Conlon remains divided. He wants to shoulder his home city the way most want to own their identity. But for Conlon, who grew up in the third and final act of The Troubles, and then living in a quote-unquote peaceful Belfast, he struggles with how much pain those three decades had on the citizens. The troubles seem like so long ago, but close all the same. That's because of the people like Conlon, the people who experience the despair firsthand, and it's very much a part of who he is. That kind of situation takes many lives. While he should never want to lose the history that shapes him, he has numerous current battles still to fight. And while the troubles have left a city and a nation battered, the story of Belfast is not one of defeat, but one of resilience. A city that knows its past, but fights for a better future. Now a father of two children, Conlon has a lot more to fight for. In the spirit of moving forward, in his last fight, Conlon dominated old foe Nikitin to defend his WBO Intercontinental title. And still the undefeated IBO Intercontinental Featherweight Champion uh, Irish, Michael Conlon. Conlon makes his post-pandemic comeback on August 15th against former title contender Sofia Tokuch on a card with fellow Belfast native and national boxing hero, Carl Frampton. A win there and Conlon lines himself up for a world title of his very own. Michael Conlon is a man divided, torn between the horrors that defined his upbringing and the courage to move forward. But with his family, his city, and his country behind him, Conlon has everything he needs to unite his mind and find peace in the glory ahead. <laughs>